Hello and welcome everyone to this week's COT review. I'm Thomas from cotbase.com. Today we're going to have a look at the seventh COT report in 2015. And as usual, we're going to start off with the changes in commercials position. So here we go. As you may see, we've got the NASDAQ on top of our list with a 23% change in commercials positions. We've got 37% change in large speculators. Uh, these changes, of course, are larger than average, uh, but nothing uh, too unusual. Uh, of course, they can be considered bearish uh, change signals, uh, maybe affecting prices in the near term. But let's have a look at the five years chart and see how extreme this market has become lately. As you may see, we are far away from any bullish COT extremes uh, and uh, actually not that close from any bearish extremes either. So more or less in between, uh, but getting closer and closer to the bearish side uh, extreme wise. So that's NASDAQ, but let's move on and have a look at the Dow Jones where we have a similarly a large change in uh, commercials, 21% change. Um, but as you may see, it's really not something uh, to be mentioned. They're pretty large changes um, quite often in the Dow Jones. Uh, so let's move on and have a look at the five years trend and see how extreme this market is at the moment. You may see small speculators being uh, heavily optimistic about, uh, about the rally. <clears throat> That, of course, can be considered a bearish uh, signal on its own. Uh, commercials and large speculators uh, are getting closer and closer to their bearish extremes. In relative terms, we may talk about one, uh, but it's definitely far away from uh, all-time extreme levels. And uh, moving on to soybean oil, where we have a 20% change um, in the market. You may see the change size over here. Uh, this is a bearish COT chain signal, maybe coming a bit late. You can see a little decline in prices over here. Uh, but opening a five years chart, we can have a, a little uh, wider perspective about the market. Uh, we are moving away from bearish extreme levels. Of course, uh, this has been said many times in the last couple of weeks that it it is actually a pretty interesting situation. Uh, having prices at such levels. So, but anyhow, you may see that prices did actually go even deeper uh, on this uh, on this extreme uh, signal. Uh, but they're basically back to the same level where they were in the last uh, almost half year right now. Uh, I'd, I'd recommend moving on to large speculator COT extreme, and uh, maybe uh, we may find uh, more interesting markets over there. The Japanese yen is on top of our list with a 117 report extreme. Uh, which is reasonable, um, but uh, it's definitely uh, way far away from uh, any any major COT extreme levels. You may see uh, bearish extreme levels uh, back over here in 2011 uh, and uh, and um, the end of 2010, actually. Uh, so we're far away from those levels, uh, and of course that's not surprising at all uh, because we are expecting, of course, looking at the chart. Uh, to have a bottom soon. Now, uh, let's uh, try to search for a, uh, a bullish COT extreme signal. Now, this one, this one was the largest on this five years chart. It may actually be uh, an all-time COT extreme, uh, but as you may see, we are uh, we are not at those levels at the moment. So, uh, it's I wouldn't say that uh, we have too many obvious signs in the Japanese yen coming from the COT report. So let's move on and have a look at lean hogs where we have a 92 report extreme in large speculators positions. The same uh, extreme can be found in commercials as well. Uh, this is a relative bullish COT extreme signal, as you may see. Uh, we are gradually getting closer and closer to um, major COT extreme signals. Uh, you may see a couple over here on the chart that I'm showing you. Uh, so uh, this is a signal that we should be taking into consideration the upcoming uh, weeks, month maybe. Uh, especially looking at the chart, we uh, may be expecting a end to this decline soon. Oats is our last market for the review, where we have a 88, per, uh, 88 uh, report extreme in large speculators. Uh, a larger extreme can be found in commercials, meaning uh, 107 report extreme over there. Uh, basically, both commercials and large speculators uh, have decreased their uh, positions uh, down to net zero, almost net zero. Uh, positions, meaning this is uh, actually a really bullish extreme uh, situation that we've got. And if you look at the chart, you may see how well these uh, bullish extremes were capable of uh, signaling 
uh, uh, bottoms in, 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 in the oats market. So we are expecting the same to happen again. Um, so keep your eyes out for oats. This is a, a good signal that we've got. Uh, of course, it may uh, increase, the extreme may get even wider, uh, but anyhow, it's, 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 it's signaling that there's something going to happen in this market. Okay, that is going to be all for this review. Of course, as always, uh, I'm telling you that we have this COT charts page over here that can be found, and you may look at other COT charts. Uh, but if you would like to have a more in-depth and detailed COT analysis, then of course the page that I'm uh, talking about is the page you should be looking at. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope to see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.